Hi Rob here. Quick little project today. Um, a few months ago I made this. Quick little uh, sharpening jig for my uh, bowl gouge. I do use a bowl gouge. Okay, so the problem I had with this is, as you can see, when I tightened it up, the, uh, the nut came out and it just wasn't holding it tight and uh, it didn't work. It was just too loose and it wasn't working. So, as you can see, it just broke, basically. So what I want to do, I picked this up from work. It is a piece of steel. I'm gonna drill a hole in that, put a bolt in that on the one side. As you can see, this slides in there nicely. And uh, I will drill and tap and put a threaded rod on the back side. Very much like Captain Eddie's. $2 jig. That's my plan today, so uh, stick around and we'll uh, get this thing drilled and put together. Okay, so these are the parts that I have. This is my bowl gouge, which has a terrible cut right now, and that's why I'm making this. I picked this up at work. It just happened to be what I had laying around. Um, that's going to go in there like so. And I'm going to drill a 5 16 hole in the top. And this is going to go in there to clamp down inside of this. And on the back side, I'm going to have a piece of 5 16 threaded rod which will go down to my pivot point uh, when I do the, the grind. So I'm going to drill and tap two holes in this. And what I have here is a pilot bit, which is, uh, I believe, a number seven drill bit. And a quarter inch drill bit right here. And my 5 16 uh, tap. Now, you could probably go with quarter inch, but I found it to be fairly flimsy. So I'm going with the 5 16 So those are the parts I need. I'm going to use my drill press for this. So let's go over the drill press and get this thing done. Okay, so I have this marked for the center of this piece of steel. On the opposite side, I have it marked for uh, a quarter of the way. So not half, but quarter. So let's get this drilled. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of WD-40 on here. And go ahead and drill this. Okay, so now I've got it in my vise, I've got it drilled, and uh, i got my tap handle here with a 5 16 tap on it, a little bit of lubrication on it, and now I can go ahead and tap this. That's the first one tapped. So now, turn it over. So the first one is about a quarter of a way down, and then on the opposite side, it's in the middle. This is where my bolt's gonna be that holds the, the uh, gouge in place. This is where my rod's gonna be to pivot on. Okay, so what I have now is this. I put a regular bolt in here. I changed my mind, as I often do when I'm making things. So this is in the middle of this. And then in the back here, there's this hole here, which is for this threaded rod, which has a probably a 15 degree bend in it. 
Now the length of this piece of rod is about nine and a half inches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in there with a little bit of super glue just to hold it in place where I want it. Uh, I was trying to look for a 5 16th nut and I couldn't find one anywhere. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to super glue that in there. So I have some uh, thin super glue right here. Let's get this thing done. Okay, right there. So I'll put a little bit extra there. We'll leave that for a minute to set. Now, this bolt, I need a half inch wrench to tighten it and loosen it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna show you is this. Now this block of wood has a hole that I used a force in a bit and drilled in two inches. So this is two inches. So what I will be doing is putting this in here to two inches. And then tightening down the bolt with the wrench. So it's in the same place every time I go to use it. As I eat the material away, this will just keep moving backwards and it will always be in the same place. So that seems nice and secure. So let's let's put this on the uh, grinder and try it out. Now my cut was pretty bad. It's already getting a lot better. but my wings are not very good right now. not to let this get blue because I know when it gets blue it's getting too hot but I can see that my cut is getting a lot better than I had it it's just my wings are not very good yet so I'm going to keep grinding this until my wings are correct and then I think I'll have a much better chance at using my bowl gouge Okay, so now I'm going to go to the finer grit sanding wheel or grinding wheel. So that has given me more of an hour's worth grind. I'll post some pictures at the end. Okay, so there's my $2 bowl gouge as per Captain Eddie Carslip. I want to thank him, as he would say, just watch. Thank you very much, Eddie. Um, it's been fun making this and I'm glad I got a good cut on this. Yes I do need a better wheel on my grinder but right now that's all I've got so uh, it's on the list.
but uh, this jig is going to help me no end and I hope it helps you guys out too watching my video. If it did, please don't forget to like and subscribe, I appreciate it. Cheers now.